Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add vectors graphically. What that means is basically, if I have a vector that points up like this, and I wanna add a vector that points to the right like this, how would I do that? The answer is very simple. Just like following directions when you're watching Dora the Explorer, first you do this, then you do that, and we started here and we ended at grandma's house, whatever, that is exactly what you do for adding vectors graphically. So what I like to do is first I like to pick my starting point and I'll literally write start next to it, especially when I'm first teaching this because students really forget where start and end is, which is funny to me, but that's your problem, not mine. So what I do is first I have the arrow pointing up like that. And then right from there, I draw an arrow pointing to the right, just like that. And then I'm done because those are the only two directions I have. I write end. And the final answer is just a line connecting start to end. I'm drawing it in a different color to show you. And really the final answer is just the red line. In other words, like I can ignore the other two vectors and it's just a vector pointing up and to the right. That's how you add vectors. And again, the reason why I do the start and end is because when I don't put the start and end, a lot of students like to put the vector going the other way down to the left. That's wrong, don't do that. So if you don't wanna mess up, literally write start and end. And what we're doing with adding vectors is we are taking the first one and literally just drawing an arrow off of it from the point where it ended. So let's do a few more examples. Like for instance, what if I have a vector pointing up and to the left and I wanna add a vector that points down and to the left? What would it look like? The answer is first I draw a dot and that's my starting point. And the first one points up and to the left, just like that. The next one points down and to the left, just like that. There's my ending point. And then the final answer is just a line from start to end. So it looks like the resultant vector, which is what we call the final result, the resultant vector, is just an arrow pointing to the left. And that's all you'd have to write. Now for the next one, why don't you try this one on your own, pause the video, see if you can get it right. I have a vector pointing straight down and I'm going to add a vector pointing straight up. Notice the vector pointing straight up isn't quite as long as the vector going down. So go ahead, try this, pause the video, and unpause it when you're ready to see the solution. And here's gonna be the solution. So first, I have my starting point. I'm gonna draw an arrow pointing straight down. This is the long one. And then from there, I'm gonna to have to draw another arrow pointing up, let's say about halfway. There is my ending point. And if I connect from start to end, it looks like my resultant vector is going to be just a shorter vector pointing downward. So a short arrow pointing downward is my final answer for that one. And there's only one more thing to talk about, and that is if I have subtraction. So for instance, I can subtract vectors. Let's take the first example. If I have an arrow pointing straight up, minus a vector pointing to the right, here's what I do. The easiest thing to do is never subtract vectors. Instead, what you should do is add the opposite direction. In other words, arrow straight up plus the vector in the opposite direction, which in this case is left. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now I just add these two vectors. I start here, vector points up, then connect to the left off of that. There's my end point, and the resultant vector is pointing that way up into the left. And again, you can just write up into the left as your final answer. Okay, now two more examples. Why don't you try these again on your own? The next one I have is, let's say down and to the right, minus a vector pointing straight down. What will this look like? So go ahead, pause the video, try it. Okay, here is the solution. First, I'm going to rewrite this as down and to the right, plus a vector pointing straight up, just like that, because whenever you have subtraction, you just flip it and add it. So that's gonna be starting here, and then it go down to the right, and then I have to draw the next vector pointing straight up like that. And then I'm going to end here. And the resultant vector, I mean, it's not very clear how high that arrow is. So, you know, it can be a little bit off from what I have, but your end result should certainly point towards the right, mostly to the right. And so that's the answer for that one. Now for one more example, this will be the final boss, the hardest one. I'm gonna add three vectors together. And the secret to adding three vectors is you literally just do the same thing we've been doing just multiple times. So for instance, if I have a vector pointing up and to the right, plus a vector that points to the left, minus a vector 
that points down and to the right, what is this going to look like? Go ahead, pause the video, try this on your own, see if you can get it. Okay, here is the solution. So first, I'm going to rewrite this as up and to the right, plus vector to the left, plus a vector pointing up and to the left, because again, I flip it and then add it for the minus signs. So now I'm just gonna add these three together. So first I got up and to the right, there's my starting point. Then to the left, like that, and then up and to the right, like that, and there is my ending point. Looks like this vector is the biggest one of all. It's the red one, and the red arrow is going to be my answer. Something pointing up and to the left, and it has to be pretty long, as we can see. So that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you understood that. If not, you can of course post your questions in the comments below, or email me, or whatever. Thank you all for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.